Hi, this is Will with Cigar Coop. I am at the 2012 IPCPR trade show, and I'm sitting in the Gurkha booth with uh, Alva Haim, the marketing manager of uh, Gurkha doing? Cigars. Good to see you again. You too. So, yes. Alva, tell us what's new uh, with Gurkha in 2012. Yeah, well, firstly, thanks for all your support over the last uh, year. You do a great job for Cigar it. Coop. Um, yeah, so new from Gurkha this year, we have two new launches. We have the uh, Gurkha Ghost and the Gurkha 125th anniversary. So we celebrate the 125th anniversary of the Gurkha cigar. So you'll see on some of our packaging 1887, so we're celebrating the 125th anniversary of the cigar. And then our third, our third launch is under, you're familiar with the East India Trading yes. Company. We had the Wicked India, where our new release is the, uh, the Red Witch, which was named after a trading ship from the 1800s. So that's a really good, uh, really good new launch for us as well. Excellent. So what can you tell us about the Ghost? I see you have one. Yeah, I'm, sm I'm smoking the Ghost right now. Uh, this is um, a Brazilian Araparaca Maduro, and it has a Criollo 98 binder, and it has Nicaraguan Dominican filler. It's medium body, I'd say a little bit more than medium. has some really good uh, kick to it. Um, and what's cool as well is that we, on the band, we experimented with a new uh, laser graphic foil. So if you look on the band, when you turn it, it's got like a hologram effect to it. So, you know, we wanted to put a little spin on, on the whole ghost concept. So it comes in uh, four sizes, 5x52, 6x54, 6.5x52 torpedo, and a 6x60. Um, so we're doing a cool tubo as well in the torpedo. Excellent, excellent. How about the 125th? Yeah, the 125th was, uh, it's been an interesting project. It's taken uh, a long time to, to finish, but um, the 125th, we wanted to create something that was very classic, something that was worthy of an anniversary cigar. So. Um, it's a pretty complex blend. It's got a Cubra Habano um, wrapper. It's a really like, nice oily wrapper. And then uh, Ecuadorian Habano binder. And then the filler's got a lot going on. There's a Brazilian, Dominican, Nicaraguan. It's very complex but very smooth. Medium bodied. Um, comes in four sizes. I don't know if you've seen the, uh, the packaging, but it's uh, Kaisad has got the, designed these hand, the hand carved mango wood boxes with brass fittings. Um, so uh, yeah, that's the the anniversary. So we're we're excited about about that. And that's being made in the you said earlier the PDR factory in uh, Dominican. Yeah, they're awesome down there. They're great guys. Abe is a f fantastic guy, and uh, you know we we went down there many times to blend with him, and he's got a fantastic factory. And uh, so yeah, he's making both the Ghost and the 125th anniversary. So it was, it was cool. I was down there when they were rolling the production and. Uh, they really have the quality control. Very nice down there. It's very clean. Everyone's, you know, it's, uh, it's, a good, it's a good factory. Yeah, from what I'm seeing uh, coming out of PDR in 2012, they've really uh, been having a good year. Yeah, and they just, you know, you know, we're, not only they make great cigars, they're good people as well, yeah. and they're, they're really receptive to, you know, we went backwards and forwards on the blend. You know, Kaisad wasn't happy on one thing, and then Gary wasn't happy with another thing, and, you know, we played around with some different combinations. But I think that... Uh, came out with a, a product that we're proud of. So. Excellent. How about the Red Witch? Can you tell yeah, the Red Witch is, uh, was, of course, actually blended by our sales director, Juan Lopez, who also blended the Wicked Indy. has a really nice uh, Rosado wrapper, Dominican binder, and Nicaraguan filler. And uh, what's cool is we wanted to make it box press. So all of them are box press. It comes in three sizes, uh, 5x52, 6x54, and a 6x60. So uh, that's the, the Red Witch. And, uh, yeah, again, they're in 50 count boxes, kind of unique, um, and it's been cool because it's a different. East India's been able to, you know, do different marketing and cigar concepts that don't uh, fall under the uh, the Gurkha branding. But all three of the new launches are in a really good price point. You know, I think that's the key as well is to come out with something that at a good price point. The Ghost is in that seven to nine dollar range. The 125th anniversary is as nice as it looks and everything. It's uh, it's under thirteen dollars. You know. And the Red Witch is in that $5 category, so really worked hard on trying to keep the, the price point compatible. Yeah, absolutely, so absolutely. Really cool. and, and how have things been going the past year since you've gone on Gurkha? It seems you've had a lot of excitement going on. Yeah, it's been it's been a lot of fun. I mean, uh, my dad's my boss, I guess. And right. I work closely with my dad and Kaizad, and uh, it's been fun. You know, we've got a really good sales team that really feels like a really big family, and uh, we're doing a lot of in-store events. And, uh, you know, we're, we're having a good time. You know, the new products still in Cellar Reserve, the Royal Challenge Seduction have been fantastic so successes for us. We've received some really good ratings. And, you know, we just, uh, it's been great getting consumers' feedback. We just want to make great cigars for, for the consumer. And, uh, you know, also we're trying to grow the 
uh, relationship with the online cigar community. So we appreciate everything that you guys do, and we realise it's you know it's an important part of our industry. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know the cigar business is great because it's I feel it's all about people and relationships. And, you know, so I feel very grateful. And I can tell you, you know, I, I travel around the country and I talk to a lot of brick and mortar, and they have been really excited about Berker and the support you've been showing for the brick and mortars. Yeah, I mean, I think, look, I think there's no question the, the internet is an important part of the industry. Um, there's no question it's a very important part. We support the internet uh, all the time. However, um, you know, we also now feel that it's, it's important to support the brick and mortar and the retailer. And my father's from a retail background, and, you know, we... You know, all of our new Gurkha launches, the Cellar Reserve, the Seduction, the Royal Challenge, and the Ghost and the 125th are all retailer only, brick and mortar only. So, um, you know, it's something we want to give back to the, the retailer. We realize that the, you know, the cigar store is, you know, we have to look after them. And, um, you know, we do stuff for the, catered for the internet and, you know, we're making brands for the retailer. So hopefully, you know, that's going to continue good. down the road. So It's a very good balance, good balance. It's important. So. So, Albert, you've been in, uh, in the industry for a while, and uh, what are you seeing as far as some of the trends in 2012 this year around cigars in general? Yeah, it's, it's funny. I, like, I've, I've heard different things, really. I mean, I, I know there's been a strong trend in terms of sizes. I know there's a, obviously a popularity with 6x60s, right. and I think, you know, we, we make a 6x60 in all of our new stuff, but I've seen there's been a more trend in some of the smaller sizes now, and some of the, you know, like 5x8x46, even some other smaller sizes that, that, have, been, that, that, that have been introduced. Um, you know, I think uh, there are also some of the trends towards stronger cigars. However, I've seen there's a lot of I've seen a lot of new Connecticut's around the show floor as well. So I think there's a maybe another rebranch of the Connecticut's yep. and the mild cigars coming back in. And you know, but uh, I've heard different mixed things. How about you? What about what, what have you heard? Well, up here in uh, Ecuadorian Habano is is a big trend in the industry right now. Ecuadorian, but yeah, uh, we, I'm we, seeing we, a lot of Mexican as far as the Maduros go right now. But, um, a lot yeah. of people trying to push the envelope with Mexican as well. As far as sizes, I see people going to the extremes. I see them going to small, and I see them to smaller, shorter sticks in terms of being able to smoke a quick smoke. Right. And then there's the trend towards the bigger cigars, the, the 60 ring gauges, and now we're starting to see that getting pushed above 60. You know, it's, it's funny. We've been, I've, I've seen some 70 ring gauges. I've seen some 7 by yeah. 60 I've seen 8 I mean, you know, it's, it's crazy. But, yeah, I, I agree with you. There's definitely, like, an imb imbalance. And, uh, yeah, no, I, I agree. And I'm just seeing the creativity in the industry. Everyone's really getting creative with their blends right now. It's, yeah. uh, you know. Well, I think uh, more than ever, I mean, I'm still learning a, a lot in, in the industry, and there's a lot of great cigars out there, like um, so many great cigar companies and great cigar brands, and the, the blending side seems to get more and more, more, more and more creative all the time. So it's, I think it's a fun time with the industry, and with, with all the, the, the FDA and the, and the this, you know, our industry is under siege in a way. It's what's been cool, I think, in the last year is how, even though we're all competitors, how the industry has come together. And uh, just talking to other manufacturers and friends in the industry, you know, we have to fight the whole uh, legislation. So I think it's, it's 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 a very cool industry to be a part of. And uh, you know, I think it's a good thing. yeah, I was just talking to a couple of my online colleagues uh, who run other websites, and and really they're more of cooperation. You know, we, yeah. we, we compete, but you know what? In the end, our real uh, our real um, focus has to be on the folks trying to shut down this industry right now. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 definitely a worry, you know, and I think uh, we, we're going to find out surely what's going to happen, and, you know, I think the election is also going to be a, yep. a big thing, and, and see, we'll see what happens uh, on with that, but, um, you know, we'll continue to fight. I think Glenn Loop has done a phenomenal Absolutely. job uh, with the CRA, I mean, what, what he's done, and you know, and I, I've seen, you know, like, talk to Rocky Patels in Washington all the time, Marvin Samuels in Washington all the time, and we're also planning, Kaizad and Gary are planning a trip to Washington to kind of lobby and, you know, do what we can, and it's, it's amazing to see what, what people are doing. I know the Padrones and some of the others have been up to Washington many, many times on their busy schedule to, to fight for our industry, and uh, it's, uh, yeah, I think it's going to need as many votes and as people behind it as, as we can to, to, to save our industry, I think, you know. And it's a bipartisan, you know, the politics have been bipartisan as far as this goes. You know, people are just cigar smokers. They're not one party, they're not another party yeah. here. So, yeah, outstanding. Absolutely. No, I appreciate it. Yep. So, so uh, what can we expect to see these new cigars in the stores? Well, if I, I think they're going to hit the stores, I think, the end of September, right at the beginning of October. That's, that's the anticipated uh, release date. So, um, you know, look out for them in the stores. 
um, you know, we're very excited. But yeah, I think I would say end of September, beginning of October. Well, Oliver, as always, thank you for no. the time. Um, thank you. Look forward uh, yes. to the new releases and um, more great stuff from Gurkha. Yeah, keep up the uh, the great work. And as always, anything you need, let me know. Okay, this is Will signing off. Thank you. See you.